Okie dokie. Yoga. All right, so we'll start as per usual in our simple seated position. If you have um, yoga blocks, you can use them. If you don't, ain't no thing. All right, so rest your hands on your legs, either face down for grounding, or you can face them up to receive the day's energy. You can also place the thumb and index finger together. Nice long spine, close those eyes. And let's just be present. Take a deep breath and through the nose, fill your lungs with air. And gently exhale all that breath. And again, inhale through the nose, fill the lungs with air. And exhale and gently circle your head all the way around. And take another deep breath in. And exhale as you reverse your circle. And then head back to the center. And you can gently open those eyes. And let's roll the shoulders back. And then forward. And then lift those arms out and up again. Fill those lungs with air. And exhale, open. Left hand down. Right arm stretches over the head. And lift and twist. Right hand behind you, left hand on the knee. You can stay there, or if you know how to wrap, you can take your right hand and try to wrap and find your left thigh. And then release and unwind. Reach that left arm out, inhale. Exhale, nice long stretch. And lift and twist. And again, if you'd like, you can take your left hand and try to wrap behind your back and find the inner right thigh. And release and unwind. Good, let's stretch out our neck. You're gonna flex your left hand. Let the head fall to the right. You can stay here or you can gently press away. And then release, bring it back to the center gently and then change, flex the right hand. Head tilts to the left, gently press away if you like. And back to the center gently. Good, you're gonna take your head forward so you can slightly hinge with the upper body. And then tilt the head. You don't necessarily need to have the chin touch the chest. You want more of length in the back of that neck. You can even just tilt it a little bit side to side just to get different angles in that stretch. My neck's making all kinds of lovely noises. And then release and sit up tall. And let's get the front of the neck. Place the hands on the chest just to hold down those muscles. And then we're gonna look up, keep the lips Closed, if you want a deeper stretch, you make a pouty face. Take a breath in, exhale, look up. And release and bring it back to the center. Good, another neck stretch for the side of the neck. You're gonna tilt your head forward. This one's my favorite stretch I learned in physical therapy. And then you're gonna to look to the right, and then I'm gonna look up to the ceiling and get that nice long stretch in that front muscle. And gently release. Now let's change sides, tilt the head forward to start, and then look to the left. 
and then look up towards the ceiling. And gently release. And release those arms and let's straighten our legs out in front of us. Let's lift the arms up, take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, forward fold. Pull the belly button in, round the spine. Relax the head over. And then look up and flex. Open the chest, shoulders back and down. And then round and point. Again, pull that belly button in. And then let's roll it up. And let's pull the right knee up into the chest and then lengthen your spine. Good, take your right hand behind you and then reach your left arm out and up towards the ceiling or the sky. Take a breath in. Exhale, left elbow on the outside of the knee. Try not to let the knee go in. Try to keep your joints lined up and then open that chest. Good. And then release and open up. And let's open that right knee. Lift up, inhale. Exhale again, forward fold, pull that belly button in. And then roll it up. And then let's change sides. Slide that right leg forward, pull the left knee in. Open that chest, sit up nice and tall, flex that foot. Good, left hand behind you. Right arm up, inhale. Exhale, elbow on the opposite side of the knee. Open that chest, twist that torso, lengthen the spine. And release, open up, press that left knee open, reach up, inhale, exhale, forward fold, belly button and relax that head, good, stretch it over. And then roll it up. And let's take it into our tabletop position. Always line those joints up, so hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You're gonna do cow and cat, so we're gonna arch the spine, look up towards the ceiling, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, pull your belly button up, tuck your hips, drop your head, separate those shoulder blades. And repeat, arch, inhale. Exhale, pull up into your cat. Good, two more, arch, inhale. Exhale, pull up. Last time, arch and inhale. And exhale, pull up. And bring it back to a neutral spine. Peel your right arm up off of the mat, up to the ceiling or sky. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, dive through. Again, keep your belly button pulled up. Rest on the right shoulder and the side of your head. Yes. You can keep your left hand down on the mat or you can wrap again. You can take your left arm behind your back. And again, you're trying to wrap if you can and try and find the right thigh. And really try to open that left shoulder, getting a nice deep twist on the torso. Lovely, unwrap and bring it back to tabletop. Left arm up, deep breath in, open that left shoulder. And exhale, dive through, keep that belly button picked up, rest on the left shoulder. Again, you could stay here or you can wrap either simply behind the back or again, try to find the left inner thigh and really open that right shoulder.
and release and bring it back to tabletop. Good, let's do some sun salutations. Tuck those toes under. We're taking it to downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, knees up, bottoms up, belly buttons pulled up. Just press it back. You want to line your spine up with your arms. Relax your head. Press those heels down into your mat and keep your belly button picked up. And then let's pedal out the feet or walk the dog. Press one heel down at a time. If you'd like, you can also get some movement going in the hips. Just really prepare the body. And then press both heels down to the mat. You're going to soften your knees and let your heels come off the mat. And then you're going to look forward towards your hands. And then you're going to take tiny steps until you get to those hands. Yes. And then you're going to rise up. Arms go out and up. Palms together over the head. Deep breath in. Lift up. Arch your back. Exhale. You're just trying to open the chest and look up towards the ceiling. And then swan dive forward. So arms go out. Arch in the upper body. Good. And then forward fold. Belly button in. Drop the head. Hands down. And then half lift up. You can keep your fingertips down as you look up. You can keep your hands off of the mat or you can place your hands on your shins. Any way is fine. Again, try to get a nice little arch in the spine. Take a breath in. And then exhale back to that forward fold. Keep that belly button pulled up. Soften those knees. We're going to step first back to a lunge. Good. And then back to plank. Excellent. You can lower the knees or lower from plank. Try to keep those elbows in practice control. Good. You're going to push onto the hips. Point those feet. Take a breath in. On the exhale, you can press it up. You can take it to cobra, which is just a halfway point elbows bent. Otherwise, you can press it up. Let the hips hang. Stretch out the hips wherever you are. Shoulders are pressed down. Good. And then pull it back into child's pose. And then back to downward dog, toes under. Knees up, bottoms up, belly buttons up. Soften those knees, look forward towards the hands. You can take your tiny steps towards those hands or you can spring forward. Nice, rise up, arms out and up. Palms together over the head, inhale. Lift up and out of those hips. Open the chest, exhale, look up towards the ceiling or sky. Swan dive forward. Take it into the forward fold, belly button in, relax that head. Half lift up, inhale. Exhale, back to that forward fold. Keep that belly button pulled up, soften those knees. You can take it back to a lunge. The other side. Yes. And then take it back to plank. Good. Again, you can lower with the knees down or front plank. Try to practice control wherever you are. Elbows in, hugging that rib cage. Good. Onto the hips. Point your feet. Inhale. Exhale. Press it up, cobra or upward dog. Yes. Toes under, downward dog. Soften those knees. Either walk or spring forward. Yes. Rise up. Arms out and up. Palms together over the head. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up. Open that chest. Arch your back. And swan dive. Forward fold. We're going to take it now into chair. You're just going to brush your arms along the mat. Reach up. Sit in that chair. Make sure there's no arch in your spine. Again, belly button pulled up. Flat back. Pull the hands prayer position, and then down to the chest. Good, take a breath in. Exhale, left elbow, taps the right knee. Right elbow up. Bring it back to the center, inhale. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Back to the center. 
Reach those arms back to that full chair pose. And forward fold. Good. Half lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Soften those knees. You can step back to your lunge or you can spring back. Nice. Gently lower. We're going to do one more sun salutation. Onto those hips. Put your feet in. Inhale. Exhale. Press it up. Toes under. Downward dog. Belly buttons pulled up. Yes. Yeah, soften those knees. Again, you can take your tiny steps forward and you can spring forward. Yes. Out and up. Rise up. Palms together over the head. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up out of the hips. Arch it back. Swan dive. Forward fold. Half lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Brush those arms along the mat. Reach up to the chair. Belly button in. Palms together. Pull it down. Prayer position. Inhale. You're going to step those feet together. Squeeze the knees together. Stronger base. Exhale. Left elbow down. Right elbow up. You can stay here or shift your weight gently to your right leg. Belly button is pulled up. And then you're going to try to pick the left foot up off of the mat. And if that foot's up, step it back down. Bring it back to the center. Inhale. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Good, pick that belly button up. Shift your weight to your left. If you'd like, try to pick up that right toe. Otherwise, just hold your position. Good, if that foot's up, take it back down and back to the center. Reach your arms back out to chair. Good. Forward fold. <coughs> Excuse me. Half lift up. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Soften those knees. Again, you can step back and do a lunge or you can spring back. Excellent. Take it down. Press onto the hips. Press it up. Good, pull it back into child's pose. We'll rest before we do our flows. <laughs> All right, pose under. Actually, keep your elbows on the mat. Let's take it into dolphin first. So elbows down, toes tucked under. It's like a downward dog, but on the elbows. Knees up, bottoms up. Belly buttons pulled up. Press your heels down. Press back on the arms. Try to lengthen that spine. And then lower those knees back down. Take a breath in. Exhale again, press up to that dolphin. Belly button pulled up, press back on the arms, press the heels down. Gently lower those knees. And we're gonna do that one more time, inhale. Exhale, knees up, bottoms up, press it back. And then you're going to walk those toes back and out, and you're going to take it to a forearm plank. Very nice. Take a breath in. Exhale. Walk those toes back up. And walk those toes back. Nice. And walk those toes back in. And then gently take those knees down to the mat. And rest and recover in your child's pose. Woo! All right, let's do some warrior flows. Toes under, back to that downward dog. Knees up, bottoms up, belly button up. Right leg lifts up. Let's 
pull the right knee into the chest, mountain climber. So round spine, belly button in, knee towards the nose. Take it back, lift that leg up. And then lower that leg, you're gonna step it into a lunge position. Nice, right arm up to the ceiling, to a side torso. And take that right hand back down. Rise up to crescent lunge, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Really try to press that left hip downward, stretching it out. You're gonna clasp your hands behind you. Open that chest. You can either stay there or forward fold, belly button in. You can rest your rib cage on your thigh. Relax the head, lift your arms, hold your balance. Good, rise back up. Reach the arms back up. Good, let's work on balance. You can step it together and then lift the knee or you just lift that knee, whatever works for you. Good, all right, so you're either gonna soften your right knee, belly button in, and you're either gonna grab the knee, Pilates-esque, or you're gonna grab under your flexed foot. And again, you want to hold your balance. Good, you can hold it there or take a breath in. Exhale if you'd like, you can try to unfold that leg. Pull that knee back in if it's extended. We're going to take that leg back to crescent lunge. Yes, open, warrior two, arms are out, right knee is pressing open, your joints are lined up, hip, knee, foot. Good, right elbow down, left arm reaches over the head, nice long stretch, inhale, exhale, lift up, reverse that warrior, left hand back, right arm over the head, yes. Good, you're going to lift back to that warrior and then we're going to take it into triangle, so you're going to straighten your right leg. Right arm goes down. You can either grab your shin, your ankle, or the mat up to you. Your left arm reaches up. If you have a block, you can always use that if your flexibility isn't so fantastic. And then take that left arm, reach it past your head. Really lengthen that stretch on your side body. Take a breath in. Exhale. You're going to rise up and reverse the triangle. So left arm up, right arm up. Left hand behind your, yes, your leg and the right arm stretches over. We're gonna windmill the arms around and we're gonna take it in to that triangle stretch. Both hands down on the mat. But again, if you have blocks and you can't reach the mat, you can always use them like such. Otherwise, even your belly button in, relax your head. We're gonna reverse our triangle. So again, this is another lovely one for your balance. You can keep your left hand where it is, or you could take your left hand and cross over to the other side, more challenging. Wherever you are, belly button in, inhale. Exhale, right arm up. And then take that right arm down. If your left arm's on the opposite side, place it where it should be, good. And then let's straighten out that back leg. Take it into a lunge. Very nice. From here, lower your left knee and point your foot. Good, hold this lovely stretch. If you like, you can prop it up to the knee so you're getting two stretches. Yes, and really open that chest. Take a deep breath in. And gently exhale. You can stay there, or you can take your right hand down on the inside of the leg, and then you reach back with the left hand. Grab that foot, ooh, tight thigh. Nice deep breaths. Then if you have that foot, release. And then you're gonna flex your right foot back, belly button in, Stretch the back of that leg. Good. 
And take a nice deep breath in. On the exhale, lengthen your stretch. So slide your heel a little forward, an inch or more, whatever works for you. Inhale. Exhale. Good, let's go one more level with that stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Either hold or take it a little farther. Very nice. Pull that front leg back and take it into your child's pose. Belly button in, recover. All right, any other side toes under. Take a deep breath in. Downward dog, knees up, bottoms up, belly buttons pulled up, press back. This time lift that left leg up. Take a deep breath in. Take it into a mountain climber. Your left knee bends, belly button pulls in. You try to take that knee towards your chin. And then take it back to that one-legged dog. Good, lower that leg, step it through into a lunge. And then take your left arm up to the ceiling or sky. And take that hand back down. And let's rise up to our crescent lunge. Yes. Let's take our hands, clasp them behind our back. Open the chest, straighten the arms. Again, you can stay right here if you like. Or forward fold, pull the belly button in. Rest your rib cage on your thigh. Drop the head and then try to lift those arms. Really work on your balance. And then rise back up. Arms reach back up. Good, let's work on our balance. Again, you can touch together and then lift the knee or just lift that knee. Very nice. Either Pilates esque. You could soften your left knee, pull your belly button in, and then hold the front of the right knee. Or if you like, yoga esque. Flex the foot, grab under the foot. You can hold it there or take a breath in. Exhale, if you like, try to unfold that right leg. And bend it back in. And step it back to your crescent. And then open into warrior two. Again, really line up your joints, knee, hip, foot. Sometimes I find my foot going inward. Yucky. So really lengthen. Take a breath in. Exhale. Left elbow down. Right arm over the head. And lift and reverse that warrior. And lift back up to warrior two. Triangle. Straighten that left knee. Reach down with your left hand, either shin, ankle, or floor, or if you need your block, right arm up. <laughs> and then let's take that right arm, reach it past the head, lengthen your spine, and the stretch on the side body. Take a breath in. And then we're going to rise up and reverse our triangle. Right hand back, left arm stretches over the head. And then windmill those arms. And we're going to take it into our triangle. You can place your hands on your shin or the mat or if you have blocks. Good. Even here, belly button in and relax that head. All right, revolving our triangle. You can keep your right hand down where it is, or you can cross the right hand over to the other side of the foot. 
Good, pull that belly button in. Inhale, exhale. Left arm reaches up. Lovely. Take that left hand down if the right hand's on the opposite side of the foot. Place it where it should be. Very nice. Straighten out your back leg. Lower yourself into a lunge. And then take that back knee down ever so gently. Point that foot. Good. You can stay there or you can prop it up to the knee. Just lengthens the stretch a little more. Really open the chest. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And again, you could stay wherever you are or you could take your left hand down in front of that left knee. If you like, you can reach back with your right hand and grab that right foot. And if you have that foot, release. <laughs> and then flex that left foot back. Belly button in, forward fold over that leg. Take a breath in, exhale, lengthen that stretch. Take one more breath in, exhale, lengthen that stretch. front leg back and take it into your child's pose. And let's roll it all the way up. <clears throat> and let's sit on our bottoms. Let's take it down to our mat. So roll it down. One vertebrae at a time. Good, we'll do a couple of boat poses and then we'll stretch it out and cool it down. We're gonna keep our boat first started with the feet down on the mat. So it's kind of like a Pilates-esque, but instead of a gentle roll up, we're gonna kind of pop up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift the upper body. Reach your hands up, open that chest. Yes, take it back down. Inhale. Exhale, upper body. Lift, open that chest. Woo. Good, take it back down. You could stay there or you're going to pick your feet up off the mat when you lift. Good, take it back down. Inhale. Exhale. Again, lift. Open that chest. Yes, take it down. We're going to do two more. You can keep your feet down or that boat, or we're going to extend the boat. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. Again, if you'd like, you can also take those legs up. Good. Take it back down. Inhale. Exhale. Boat. If you like, you can extend those legs. Yes. And take it back down. Very nice, pull the right knee into the chest. Extend that leg up to the ceiling. Straighten that left leg. Good. You can just gonna gently release that leg so it's straight up to the ceiling and we're gonna get the outside of the right hip. So take your left hand on the outside of the right leg. I like to keep my foot flexed. I feel it better in my calf. And then I'm going to gently press the leg across the body, but we're not twisting the torso. We're trying to keep the hips down. You can also take your right arm straight out from your shoulder for support. Good. And 
And then open that leg out to the right side. Then release that leg, take it down to your mat. And let's pull the left knee into the chest and straighten that leg up. Oof. And then point that leg up to the ceiling, flex foot, right hand on the outside of the leg, cross it over the body, keep your left hip downward, you can take your left arm straight out from your shoulder for support. And then let's open the leg out to the left. And then release that leg and pull the knees into the chest. And let's take the feet down to the mat. Let's get a nice twist in the spine. Take your right leg up, cross it over the thigh. You can keep a simple cross or you can take your right foot and wrap it under the left calf. Arms go straight out from your shoulders. Take a breath in. Exhale, knees fall to the left. You can also look to the right to get a little more of a twist. Now bring it back to the center. Unwrap, take your left leg up, inhale. Cross it over, simple cross or wrap. Exhale, knees fall to the right, look to the left. Now bring it back to the center. Uncross those legs. Knees together, butterfly. Soles of the feet together. Take those hands, I like to do thumbs upward, and we're gonna gently press the thighs away from the hips and the lower spine, so it's a little bit of a traction stretch. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, gently press the thighs away. Let the belly button sink down to the spine. Gently try to relax that lower back. And then pull the knees back together. Pull the knees into the chest. And let's take a happy baby. You're either going to grab around the ankles and let the knees hang open or grab under those feet. You could stay still or it's lovely to rock back and forth, side to side. It's soothing for your brain and your body, but it's also a really rad massage on the back. All right, pull the knees back into the chest. We're gonna take our feet down to the mat. So here's where we do our savasana or our meditation. So the goal is not to be mindless because it's pretty hard not to think, but you just wanna think about your breath and think about your body relaxing into the back of the mat. We're just gonna do that for two minutes, but you wanna try not to fidget. The hardest part I have, we used to do this for like 10 minutes in Atlanta. Try not to fidget for 10 minutes. Hardest thing ever for me and for ADHD. <laughs> so we do just try not to itch or fidget or twitch. Just try to lay completely still. So you're gonna extend your legs down on the mat. Your feet are flexed up towards the ceiling and then just let the feet drop open to the sides. You're gonna place your arms down in your mat and you're gonna flip your palms upward towards the ceiling or sky. And then you're gonna close your eyes. First, we're gonna focus on our breath. So you're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose, fill your lungs with oxygen. 
And gently exhale as you do, try to relax the back of the body into the mat. Take another deep breath in, fill your lungs with oxygen. And again, gently exhale, relax the body into the back of the mat. Try to relax your eyebrows, your forehead. Take one more breath in through the nose. And gently exhale. And relax those shoulders. And then we'll try to lay completely still for two minutes. And just focus on your breath in and out. All right, we're going to take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Again, fill the lungs with oxygen. And as you exhale, start waking up that body. You're going to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. You can add some circles to your wrists and your ankles. And then let's pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. And then take those feet down to the mat. And then you're gonna take your left arm over your head, or Kelly, probably your right arm. And then you're gonna roll towards that arm and rest your head on your bicep and then just take the other arm and cross it over the body. We're in our recovery position and we'll take our recovery breath. So take another deep breath in. Again, fill the lungs with oxygen. And gently exhale. And you're going to use the hand that's on your mat and you're going to gently press yourself up and slide that other arm up as we bring ourselves to a seated position. And we'll finish how we started. So either a simple seated position or you can do a half or full lotus. Sit up nice and tall, rest the hands on those legs. Again, either face down for grounding, or you can flip those palms up to receive energy. Close those eyes. Take a nice deep breath in, fill your lungs with oxygen, and we're gonna hold it in. And gently exhale. And again, another deep breath in. And gently exhale. Last breath. 
Inhale. Hold it in. Exhale, circle the head all the way around. And reverse the direction of your circle. And head to the center. And lift your arms out and up. Take a deep breath in, palms together over the head. Exhale as we pull them down, prayer position. Let the thumbs rest in the center of the chest. And then hinge forward slightly with the upper body. Place the thumbs between the eyes. And then bow your head forward. And thank you for hanging out with me this morning, lovely ladies. Namaste. Oh, unfold my legs. Okay, goodbye video. Goodbye video.